What's going on, everybody? Josh Englund here, episode nine of The Road to Glory. And I'm re-recording this original audio because I didn't turn my microphone on, or turn it off of mute, rather, until I got to the first game. So I'm going to re-narrate the opening draft sequence. Things have not been going great in draft, as the 40 of you that watch this are well aware. Hoping to, you know, change the tide a little bit. Uh, starting today, I'm going to crank these out uh, a little bit more frequently now that sports are on the back burner and we don't really have anything else going on. I'm going to throw myself fully into FIFA. But for now, I'm still trying to put this draft out that was supposed to go out yesterday. Uh, I actually recorded this on Wednesday. I don't know if I mentioned that in the audio or not. But either way, 15,000 coins were hopping in. Now, this was set to air yesterday, so I'm taking the fifth formation down. Uh, I try to line up Monday through Friday with um, the list of formations. I've mentioned that before, but it's just icons for days. And I didn't really know where I wanted to go here to start. Zidane is obviously, you know, a, a guy that is available a lot. But I went with Roberto Baggio, uh, although I don't think that I'm making that pick immediately right now. I'm sort of sorting through it. I didn't want to go to Figo. I know that's not the same card, but been in forever. It's boring to take him. And I just kind of like Roberto Baggio, so it became pretty easy. That's who I wanted. And ultimately, at some point in time, I'm going to actually click on Baggio's name. I don't know why it hasn't happened already and what kind of waiting I was uh, doing here, but I'm popping in and out of these menus. Just take him, Josh. Josh from the past. So now we're taking goalkeepers. You guys know I like to build back to front. Um, no brainer for me here. Lloris is going to be the guy. So many French center backs, Premier League center back links to um, Van Dyke, but then it didn't matter because we got Team of the Year Van or Team of the Year Allison, who Liverpool could have used this past Wednesday. Unfortunately, did not get him. Big Verge in immediately. No brainer scenario there. Dead pick for center second center back. So no brainer as well here. Uh, switched out to uh, left back now. Wasn't much of a question here, was there? Got to take the icon that I have not used yet, Roberto Carlos. Heading over to right back. I don't even remember who I took. Um, I took Trent. Yeah, took Trent. A lot of Liverpool back line right there. For some reason, I didn't think I took Trent, but I don't know. My memory is crap, and it's only been... 72 hours since I actually recorded this video. Um, got ahead now to the two center back or two defensive bench spots. Wasn't much of a choice here. My only thought was that I had a different direction that I could go uh, for that second center back. Um, ultimately, and I'm going off a of memory here. Yeah. So Tiago Silva was not a guy that I definitely wanted, but it was really the only choice that worked because of that Brazil, Brazil link on both sides. Uh, it was going to be viable. Would have loved to, to be able to use that Valencia card. Uh, it's just not all that uh, possible given the current construction of the team. But I really didn't have any other alternatives. The rest of the cards did not matter to me all that much. So Valencia is basically just the pick due to rating, but I wasn't going to take Trent off with that link to Big Verge. So now we head into the rest of the midfield picks. I really like this team when all is said and done. Uh, no surprises here. Zanetti going right into the squad. Prime moments. Great card. Got to use him. And then uh, second spot. Also, to me, uh, a no-brainer. I had to take Conte with the Hunter Kemp style. That's a, just ends up being a fantastic card. And I mean, that's, that is a very lethal defensive and center midfield start. Uh, we head to the bench now. This was a pick that did not really carry a lot of weight for me. Not really going to be making the squad. I don't believe that I even subbed on uh, Hinestroza, but still a good card, 87. Um, get him on the pitch. Another full run of icons except for uh, Fakir. But I didn't have much of a choice, in my opinion, on this spot. Um, Petit is a card that I use a lot. I thought it fit perfectly 
Uh, I like to have, you know, someone a little bit more defensive and he was the center mid or center defensive mid. So had to go that direction. Plus Conte on the bench, not exactly a terrible sub. We hop up to striker. This is where it got a little complicated. I really, really didn't know which direction I wanted to go because it didn't really matter. The bigger question was, who am I going to get at the left wing, right wing spots that would link best? Because I'm running icons clear across the midfield. It didn't matter who I took because everybody linked regardless. However, still needed to make that decision. The Aubameyang card to me just made the most sense. I, I wanted the chance of potentially getting Scream Aguero. Uh, on the right side, it turned out it didn't matter at all who I ended up taking. I end up going with De La Feu. Uh, no one was going to ever make this actual squad uh, as an 80 whatever, unless I desperately needed Kem, which I wouldn't have needed given the midfield. Left wing became very easy, although I would have liked Rivaldo, but Ronaldinho got to be taken in this scenario. You can't even... There's just no other way around it. The two-star weak foot on Rivaldo really just uh, cemented that. Um, so Ronaldinho on the squad, two bench spots remaining. As if this was going to be anybody else. Got to take 95 Messi there in a sea of you know mid-80s to just Salah at 90. Uh, there's no pure link here, but obviously in hindsight, I wish I would have taken the Aguero card. Uh, but it's not as if it really, really mattered. And we do have more picks to go. But uh, Aguero would have been the pick just because of that messy. But we get a lot more goods uh, to come. This pick is fully irrelevant. Uh, we take, I believe I take the winner refresh, but I'm not sure. I, d I truly don't remember because it's not like they see the pitch. I do. Okay. We sort it out a little bit. We hit the reserves. Was it five picks to go? Um, I really had some interest in Ibrahimovic. Uh, no chem style was what slowed me down there. And Scream Firmino with the Hunter, to me, is a card that I just want to have on there. So I actually swap out the Aubameyang to Scream Firmino. Just with that Hunter chem style, that becomes a really dirty card. Uh, and I'm a Liverpool fan, so I would rather have Firmino. This is where it got a little dicey. 93 Neymar out there, but I've already got Ronaldinho. And then we get 95 Garincha prime moments. Both cards don't have a chem style, which is annoying. Uh, but to me, the easiest pick was going Garincha just to make the chemistry work a little bit more. That puts everybody full. Cannot beat that at all. Uh, doesn't hurt to have Messi on the bench. The question is, does Messi end up on the bench? Spoiler alert on the final three cards. It's a pretty deep squad, and uh, it doesn't get worse from there, except for this card. Uh, straight silver, doesn't matter. Jam that guy right in. Two more cards to go. I believe I take Lucas Mora here. Maybe I'm thinking of a different draft, and it also it does just suck for the rest of it. I feel like I got a different striker. See, I, like, I don't even remember. I've had this video edited for a bit and then realized that I, I forgot that I didn't re-record that audio. Oh, I think about taking Benedetto. Uh, for the Argentinian link to Messi. Ultimately, I take Lucas Mora, and it doesn't matter. Final pick here. Sadio Mane. Got to be on the pitch, but no place to put him. So a fantastic bench option. I believe this is what I stick with. The Brazilian front three. Uh, it's just a really solid team clear across the board. Um, although I think that I, this is how bad my memory is guys. I did this 72 hours ago. This was Wednesday, Wednesday. And now I have no concept whatsoever of who I pick for a manager. I think, I think I might take someone to put Messi on the pitch, but I could be wrong. Or do I? Yeah. Oh, I do. I, I take the Argentinian manager. I think, I think, do I? Do I? I do. Okay. So I decided to put Messi on. Uh, that's the squad, though. And we're heading into game one. Pray to God. Uh, I mildly prefer this dude's squad. Uh, Son out wide. Di Maria out wide. That's so much speed. 
I like that front trio. You get Robbo as part of a back three. But here's the key. I'm getting out of here now. This is about where I realized that I have not been recording. So here you go. Just realized I've been on mute the entire time. That's fun. I'll be re-recording the audio. Baggio, love the hair too. It looks like shit in FIFA, but I'll take it. Good goal, good goal. S2. He's gone. Zanetti stepping up. This dude's out of here. First round rage quit. First round rage quit. Yay. This guy has no idea that I was probably pretty damn likely to gack that game away. Uh, it was just going to be absolute utter domination. Um, yeah, dude had no chance. So on to the second round. Get in there, son. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. First round, rage quit. All righty, game number two, Marseille FC. Ooh, that's a good squad. That's a real good squad. These icons are really just opening everything up. You can pretty much get whoever you'd like. I can't complain. I mean, I did the exact same thing, but whew, this should be fun. Game number two. Can we get out of the second round for the first time ever? Wow. Oh, I thought he got a piece of that. That's a hell of a goal. I didn't think he was going to get that off. Eh, yeah, he broke free. There's nothing I can do there. GG's. Terrible celebration. He was just too strong. Couldn't push him off of it. Fuck! Took that touch slightly too far. Oh, no. Bad angle. Great goal. Bad, 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 bad D. <sighs> and we're going out in the second round because what would this be without it? Reno. I'm not even like it's, it's just three shots, three goals. And this game is over before it even started. Like it hasn't even been that bad. This guy's just gotten free on three straight. Four straight? No need to keep this one going. And we're out in the second round. No way I'm playing down four nothing. It's wasting my time and his. Cool, 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 cool. After a victory, just immediately shit it away. 20 minutes of game time. Let's open the packs. I just got done thinking like, oh, this is gonna be a great Friday video. I didn't even get, I basically didn't even get finished my thoughts. Two packs, need a biggie. Need a biggie. It's not helping that I don't get any good rewards. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Need a Hunter Chem style. Catalyst. Oh, what a depressing turn of events. And I need to re-record the audio at the beginning.
Who's this garbage? Yuck, guys. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, guys. That's another one in the book. Second round exit. Get used to it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Twitch, Josh Engelman. Twitter, Josh Engelman. Be back with another one of these bad boys tomorrow. Maybe we'll get out of the first round or the second round even. Talk to you later.